When the movie starts, we meet our main character named Ange. Ange's friend Kwai Yue wrote a novel, the production company is going to make a movie on it when they could not find Kwai Yue then because of this they contact with Ange. Ange said that the girl about whom is written in the book is not me, she was lying here, after this when she was traveling in the train, she met her friend Jiaming when they met last time, Ange was about to get married but she would say that I broke up, Jiaming wanted to talk to her even more but Ange ignores him, Jiaming gave his number to her, after coming home she starts reading Kwa Yue's novel and we get to know her childhood story, as a child, Ange brought a squirrel to school one day. She falls down from her pocket and goes directly to Kwai Yue. Due to this movement both of them became friends. Everyone was punished in school for getting this squirrel then both set off fire alarm of the building. Friendship of these two had become very good. Kwai Yue always brought Ange to her home because Ange does not have a father. These two were such good friends. So they used to take baths together. Kwai Yue's mother did not know that Ange did not have a father. Hearing this her mother feels very bad. Anjan's mother is always away for business trips, she does not like her mother so much after this, Kwa Yue's mother gave Anjan the same love as her daughter, one day her mother came to pick up Anjan at school but she runs away from her, her mother lived far away so Anjan was very upset with her because of this, there are so many problems in her life but when she was with Kwa Yue both used to enjoy a lot, they had read somewhere that if they step in each other's shadow, they will always be together for the rest of their lives, these two always wanted to be together, after this many years passed, Kwai Yue got admission in good school, and did not have much interest in study so she does a little school and does a little job, their friendship was still as deep as it was, they roamed different places if these places are closed, then they enter directly inside it but no one used to steal whatever they got used to pay for it. Kwa Yue's family was also very comfortable with Anjan. All these people looked like one family. Kwa Yue's mother feels that Anjan has only bad luck because of this. Her life is like this. This doesn't seem right to Anjan. Tonight, both of them came to Anjan's place to sleep. While sleeping, Anjan tells her dream that she has to become very rich. She would have a nice house and her life will be perfect. Here in the talk, Kwa Yue said that she likes a boy very much. After hearing this, Ange wanted to protect her so that her heart would not be broken. Next day she directly searches for the boy. Name of this boy was Jiaming he is handsome. Then Ange goes to him and says that you are handsome. Many girls must have given new expressions. But my friend liked you so don't refuse her. It was a threat in a way. Jiaming got scared from this wherever Ange was going he follows her. Finally Ange left from there with her boyfriend. Today Kwa Yue Mi Jiaming in the library they were sitting next to each other in the exam so they discuss related books. Kwa Yue was not getting the book so Jiaming helps her to get it. Kwa Yue comes to him and kisses on his cheek. Only after that they became a couple. Kwa Yue also walks in the shadow of Jiaming, that is to be with him forever. One day both of them hang out and come to Anj. Anj used to work in a bar and her boyfriend also used to play here. Kwa Yue just went to the washroom then both Jiaming and Anj talk, Anj asks Jiaming what do you like in Kwa Yue, Jiaming says I like everything in her, Anj asked with which hand do you hold her then both of them put forward the right hand and hold each other's hand after the first meeting, between them a little chemistry was developing after this Kwa Yue came here but then Anj's boyfriend dedicates songs for her, Kwa Yue says what is all this? Anj said that he loves me very much he wants me to travel the country with him, he is going to dedicate every song to me until I tell him yes, after that the next day all of them were going to the mountain, climbing the mountain, Kwa Yue was very tired she says both of you go ahead she will come up after taking some rest they both go upstairs again and pray, Anj said to Jiaming that you are very strange you don't believe in God yet come up while walking, Jiaming said that even if you do not believe still you should respect. He took out the locket from his neck and says that when I was young, I fell very ill. My mother had brought me the locket after praying after which I got cured. Because of this he always keeps a locket with him. Seeing this locket, Anj came very close to him she tries to walk away from him but Jiamin grabs her hand. After this movement both came out and Kwa Yue was waiting for them outside. Both of them get a little scared and the way she was behaving it shows that she has seen both of them. Yet she decides that she will ignore this thing, 
After this day Anjan decided that she will go with her boyfriend, both July and Anjan while going to the railway station she had become very emotional, Anjan tells Kwa Yue that he loves me very much, Kwa Yue asked what would you do if he stopped loving you one day, Anjan says I will come to you you will always love me, train started Kwa Yue along with the train was also running she saw the locket of Jiaming around Anjan's neck, Anjan also realized this. Anj says to Kwa Yue if you want I can stop but Kwa Yue was very heartbroken, she loves Jiaming very much and can't leave him for Anj so she lets her go, after this the life of Kwa Yue and Anj was very different, Anj used to roam in different cities with her boyfriend and Kwa Yue took admission in a good university she and Jiaming went to the same university. Kwa Yue also wanted in her life that she wanted to roam in different places like Anj but after her departure she feels that she should lead a stable life, now a little more time had passed when Anj's boyfriend cheats on her, she leaves him and goes for a walk alone while making new friends at different places, new places roam around, here Kwa Yue's parents were pressurizing to marry Jiaming. They decided to get married after 3 years and some time passed and Kwa Yue got a job in the bank. Anjing's mother dies, after Kwa Yue got the job, she started living a very stable life, Jiaming doesn't want this he had decided that he would go to a different country and do his masters, he promises to Kwa Yue that both of them will get married when he returns after two years, Kwa Yue was heartbroken after Jiaming's departure, Anj was waiting for her when she came home, Anj was also fed up with her life by roaming in different places they hug each other and cry a lot. They talking after so many days the smile on both of their faces came back again, Anj did not have much money she was a lousy hotel stay but Kwa Yue books a nice room for her later goes to a place for dinner, Anj says today I will pay because you paid for my room, she doesn't have much money and had to buy wine so she goes and talks to some boys she bet with them and within 20 seconds the entire bottle of wine was drunk because of this they get wine for free. Kwa Yue does not like this thing she says that you have been living in this way for so many years, Anj says that life gives you all things good or bad you have to accept it, Anj did not have much money so she was taking salad herself so Kwa Yue got angry on this matter she says I will pay, don't worry too much we both don't need to share things like this, Anj said you had divided everything many years ago, it means Kwa Yue had let it go she talked about it now. Kwa Yue also got angry she says you always asked about Jiaming under whatever letter you wrote for me you are still wearing the locket he gave you, because of all these things a fight broke out between them, and then leaves from here in anger, a little more time has passed since this day, Jiaming and Anjing meet in an office, Anj was fed up with her previous life so she took a stable job here she says now I am going to get married too. Her boyfriend was married but he is going to divorce his wife she asked Jiaming about Kwa Yue, he says we both are right there is no problem, when Anjing came out after meeting Jiaming there was a car accident, this accident happened to her boyfriend because of this she was very disturbed, on the other hand we see that Kwa Yue wanted to talk to Jiaming but nowadays he is busy so completely ignores her, she was getting very insecure about her relationship she reached directly at Jiaming's house one day then Jiaming was taking Anj to her house, Anj heart was broken after boyfriend's death, she also had no home to live that's why Jiaming had helped her, Kwa Yue was angry a lot from all these things she tells her that what do you think Jiaming loves you, he only likes me the way your lifestyle was, no man loved you in that lifestyle they were just using you, no one loves you in this world you were my friend. I gave you everything then you cannot take away my love from me, after this Kwa Yue told Jiaming that I will wait for you for a month if you come back we will get married and if you don't come then it's okay, tonight Jiaming was running to clear his mind, Anj is also with him, Jiaming told him I can't meet you now we both should have stopped long ago, the day Anj returns the locket to Jiaming and leaves from there we watch the movie again in the present the story which was going on till now is written by Kwa Yue and Anj was reading it. She falls asleep while reading, just then we see Anjing's daughter approach her she shuts down the laptop, again our story continuing in flashback after their quarrel, Jiaming came to meet Kwa Yue he says that I have taken an apartment, I want you to stay with me forever, Kwa Yue said that it would all be very expensive, Jiaming gives his account to her and says my everything is yours now, after that both are very happy their wedding day came but Jiaming had run away. 
This was very fond of Kwa Yue but she could do anything with her life now she also has to travel to different places like Anjin which she always wanted. Her mother never supported her now she says a woman's life is difficult but I wish that your life should never be difficult she supported her. Kwa Yue roam all over the place where Anjin came to visit. Finally one day she came to meet Anjin. Anjin still has a stable job there is a nice house where she lives with her boyfriend both of them were about to get married. Her boyfriend was also very sweet they met and hanged out. After this Kwa Yue was leaving from here, Anjin wanted to stay with her and Kwa Yue wanted Anjin to travel the world with her but it was not possible. After this the story comes in the present again suddenly Jiaming gets a call from Anjin's daughter both of them met at a cafe. Anjin's daughter asked Jiaming are you my father? She had asked about you under whatever ladders my mother wrote. Jiaming finds this thing very funny. Anjin's daughter showed him a book she says that my mother has written it. Jiaming says that it was not written by your mother but by her friend Kwa Yue. Anjin's daughter says no, my mother writes in the name of Kwa Yue. Jiaming was shocked by this and then Anjin had come here they talk after leaving Anjin's daughter at home. Jiamin says that whatever you have done in novel ending it is a little different. Now tell me what really happened. Anjin tells him that Kwa Yue was pregnant when she came to meet me. Actually Jiaming ran away from the wedding because Kwa Yue told him, Kwa Yue didn't want to be with a man who didn't love her completely. That day Kwa Yue and Anjin talked about everything. Kwa Yue says I always knew you both love each other but I was very selfish. I hated you a lot then but I don't now. Anjin asked why you have come here and now she says that when I came to know that I am pregnant, I only feel coming to you both of them forgave each other. After this both of them remained together till the delivery of Kwa Yue after the delivery of the baby. Kwa Yue suddenly left from there she calls Anjin and tells that she wanted a different life she doesn't want to be stuck with baby. She knows that Anjin will take good care of her baby after hearing this. Jiaming also got tears in his eyes he takes permission from Anjin. Can I meet my daughter? Anjin also told him yes which he had told all this was also a lie. In actual when Kwa Yue gave birth to her baby she had died. Anjin cried a lot that day she did not want to give a sad ending to her friend in this way. She is always free to have her friend in her mind, seeing happy roaming different places that is why in her novel she gave a happy ending to Kwa Yue. That novel in a way she wrote in her memory, she finally writes in her novel that we both taught each other how to live. Anjin writes that I taught Kwa Yue how to live free and as he taught me what a stable life is. Anjin still finds Kwa Yue in her shadow she will always be a part of her life. She considers her daughter as her own daughter and with this the movie ends. This movie shows us a very beautiful friendship which makes us emotional. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.